guys welcome back in previous video we have seen vision based prison landing system using ROS, gazebo and autopilot SITL that is software in the loop in details and in the upcoming videos we'll see the hardware implementation of that using raspberry pi camera and uh, orco markers and for the upcoming videos i'll be using this airframe for testing all the algorithms basically i'll be focusing on developing navigation stack for indoor autonomous uh, gps denied conditions and for that i'll require few sensors to be integrated to this uh, flight controller stack i uh, will start with a single point ladder that will be facing uh, uh, with the air, airframe to get the accurate altitude uh, uh, estimation and then we'll integrate the x4 sensor and then we'll go with the orco markers and raspberry pi camera so basically if i'm planning to do the uh, navigation using the markers or create, by creating a Orco map array, then I'll require Raspberry Pi camera uh, added to this airframe. And then we'll move on uh, with 2D or 3D, 360 degree radars for obstacle avoidance and for doing a uh, slam. And after that, we'll see AI ML al algorithms for monocular or binocular cameras and uh, implement the algorithms on this airframe. In this video, we'll see uh, how to integrate a single point radar. So basically, it's already very beautifully described uh, on the autocopter uh, documentation so we'll take the reference of that and uh, start the in integration and then uh, we'll see the actual uh, flight testing uh, indoor and also outdoor so let's get started uh, here i have this air airframe uh, which is completely made out of carbon fiber tubes and sheets and i have raspberry pi 4b model with 4 gb of ram and flight controller as picks of a black cube and I have mounted a TF Mini S LiDAR that is single point LiDAR with 12 meters of indoor range and 7 to 8 meters of outdoor range. And I have been using this uh, uh, setup for uh, hovering at a given point or uh, at some altitude over a Orco marker uh, without uh, the requirement of any uh, GPS. And uh, for testing out AI ML algorithms, I'll, I require more uh, processing power. So uh, here I am using this. Uh, Jetson uh, Xavier's board from NVIDIA but the form factor of this complete development board is more so I have an alternate for this board. So this is the uh, Jetson Xavier board from uh, Evermedia and I have been using this and I have tested few algorithms and it, it works pretty well. So I can just uh, replace this uh, Raspberry Pi 4 model and mount this uh, small, smaller form factor uh, Jetson Xavier board on this and uh, test the algorithms. So now uh, we'll move ahead and check the software setup for integrating this LiDAR and we'll know few basics about uh, what LiDAR is and the working of LiDARs. LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging and the working principle of a LiDAR and ultrasonic sensor is pretty same. LiDAR uses uh, light waves or the light particles for detecting the object and ultrasonic sensor uses uh, ultrasound waves for detection of the object. There are different types of LIDARs, that is single point LIDAR, then we have 2D and 3D LIDARs. For this video, we'll be working with single point LIDAR, that is TF Mini S, which has field of view of 2 degrees. This is a simple example or the illustration of how LIDAR is used to uh, measure the distance uh, from the object. And here we have D, that is distance between the point and the sensor, then C, that is speed of light, and then T, that is time of light. Basically, time of light refers to the uh, travel time uh, of the uh, light waves or the light particles from uh, the lidar or the sensor to the object and back to the uh, lidar and in that way uh, the distance is calculated and here we have a uh, more example regarding 2d and 3d lidars and their use cases that we are going to cover in the upcoming videos and uh, here uh, we have the sensor that is tf mini by default it comes with the uart protocol uh, configuration but if you want to use uh, I2C, then you need the Benavec uh, assistant software where you can configure uh, this uh, LIDAR. And here I have one more or uh, the use cases of the uh, single point LIDAR that is a, a 360 degree obstacle avoidance system. And here we have a very good project on the uh, hackster.io. Uh, here uh, this all these LIDARs are connected to the uh, Arduino. Uh, and the intermediate is AT Tiny, where the address of the uh, each LiDAR is changed and stored in this and then it is connected to Arduino and where from the Arduino it is uh, sent to the uh, Pixoc on the UART protocol. So you can check uh, more details uh, regarding uh, this project here. And uh, this is the LiDAR and the wiring diagram uh, for the Pixoc and the LiDAR is very straightforward and uh, the configurations or the settings are pretty straight. So once we are done, we'll 
uh, get to the testing part here uh, we need to configure the serial 4 protocol in my case i am using uh, gps port so i have gps1 and gps2 backend and uh, i am using uh, this lidar with the default that is a uart uh, protocol so i won't be doing the configuration or configuring, configuring it uh, to the i2c and then i'll i'll set the serial 4 board that is 115 that is a board rate and then range finder type that is a 20 uh, which is uh, the binovec serial and then a uh, few settings according to the sensor that i'm using and uh, here uh, we can get the data once uh, we do the uh, parameter setting we need to restart the uh, drone and then you'll get these uh, values here or the sonar range that is in meters that is 17.95 meters and now once you are done with this we'll uh, get back or uh, get to the actual uh, testing of the lidar that is indoor and outdoor so now uh, i'll take off in hold mode and uh, you can see uh, how it will maintain the altitude so as we uh, do not have any gps so uh, there are slight wind so it might drift here and there but uh, you can see the uh, altitude uh, uh, level Thank <laughs> you. 